everybody welcome back to my channel today i got more colors um and i'm super excited about it because i don't really have any purple so i am so excited to see what this purple looks like in this box <clears throat> so model one sent this to me these are instructions of course And there you go. This looks like bronze. Same bottle as, as last time, which I said I like. Black gold. Morandi nude. Morandi nude. I think that's Mirandy nude. Sorry if I said that wrong. Rose gold. These shimmers are, they look pretty awesome as well. Ultraviolet. I'm excited. And dreamy silver. And da 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 da. Lucia red. Yes, I have quite a few reds. I need to replace my reds with another color now. <laughs> um, for those of you who are wondering, also, I broke a nail today. I'm putting my pants on. <laughs> well, I kind of cracked it, and then when I was at lunch with my daughter at her school, I um, ended up hitting my finger really hard <laughs> and popping it off. So, luckily, it didn't damage my nail. My nail was longer, but of course, I took it off because it was bothering me. Alright, I get some tips. And I use these big ones just because nobody's thumbs are really this big. Like, I probably had one person that actually fit into this size. So I use these ones just for um, my swatches. Which I'm due to get more nail tips anyway. So we're just going to use what I have. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm just going to start with this side. This was the bronze. This one looked very pretty as well. It's going to be a shimmer from what I've seen online. These are also soak-offs. So you shouldn't have a hard time removing them. <clears throat> It says that you can get one coat on these. Like my last one, um, my for sure was able to get a solid color with one coat. But with me, like even though this is light, it's pretty, I would still do a second coat of this. And also, I realized, like, after, like, when I continue to the next nail, and I let this sit, it kind of levels out as well, so. They do, like, self-leveling, which is nice. This one was the black gold. So it's black with a little bit of gold in it. Model 1's has been putting a lot of polish out. Like, any polish you can think of, they got it. And then some. This is very nice. And I know I say that about all the colors, but like, I'm not joking, they're all so pretty. 
It goes on so smooth and creamy. And my last white held up actually. If you didn't, if you watched my last video, um, it didn't bubble at all. So it's a good sign. I hear that like they put like <clears throat> sunblock or something like that inside of it so it does have a little bit of a hard time um, curing this is <laughs> Mirandy nude <laughs> Hopefully I am saying that name right. I mean, we can't get all names correct. Because, <clears throat> I mean, there are words that people do say completely different and they mean the same. This is a very pretty nude. It has like a base of like purple in it. Like a, a lavender base. Like, even though it looks nude, like, that undertone still looks like there could be, like, a violet in it. <clears throat> so that bronze ended up leveling out really well. It's, uh, it's not streaky at all. Not how it was when I very first did it. This is the rose gold. <clears throat> so freaking pretty. Look at that shine. This is like a translucent, trans, translucent um, glitter. Like the few that I had in my last video. It's so pretty. This would go really well with that nude that I, um, oh shoot, <laughs> that I just did. And this is why I use a paper towel. Because if I didn't, it'd probably be all over the place. <clears throat> Ultraviolet. This one should be very, very vibrant. <clears throat> I don't remember if they told me that if this was a collection to like a certain collection. Um, I know when I was choosing one. Um, there was a lot of Christmas ones, which I got the Christmas one the last time. So, um, I'm kind of curious if this kind of falls under the same one, just, you know, obviously different shades. Because these could be kind of used for Christmas. Especially, like, these ones. Those are Christmassy. Look how nice that purple is lining out. Super duper pretty. Dreamy Silver. Very pigmented silver with a tad bit of um, bigger chunks of glitter. It's not super chunky, but there is some bigger circles up in there.
This gives full coverage as well. This actually ended up being a little bit better too. All right, and our last one is the Lucia Red. <clears throat> oh, I remember this color now, actually. It's not really the kind of red that, you know, I'm thinking of. I completely forgot until I just kind of seen a hint of it. This is like a raspberry red, kind of. This has like a purple tone to it as well. Super pretty. Super duper pretty. So, I know it doesn't look like it on the camera. But, this isn't like that typical red. Even though it kind of looks like it's showing up to be like that color. This actually has like a hint of pink, purple, little violet color to it. It's super pretty. Hopefully when I take a picture of the after, I'm hoping that it um it pops through so you guys can really see that color. <clears throat> Alright, these are the colors. Once again, gorgeous model ones. Thank you so much. There's the names again. Go check them out if you already haven't. You can either go to modelones.com and order. They send free gifts if you order a certain amount of money. Also, you can buy on Amazon, which that's where I normally get it just because of Prime. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this swatch video. Have a great night, everyone.